Once my views are created, I'll add dimensions, leader notes, text, a parts list, and balloons to my drawing. I'll start by selecting linear dimension. I'll select two points and then place the dimension. I'll create another linear dimension, but this time I'll press spacebar, then simply select an edge on the object and then place the dimension. When I'm done placing linear dimensions, I'll press Enter. To quickly add multiple linear dimensions, I can use the Baseline and Chain Dimension tools. If I click Chain Dimension and select the extension line of an existing dimension, I can select new points on the drawing to create side-by-side -side dimensions. I'll add radius dimensions for the hooks. And a diameter dimension for this hole. I'll continue adding dimensions to complete my drawing. I don't like the way that some of the dimensions are running into each other. All annotations have grips that can be used to adjust the position after it's created. I'll select some of the dimensions and reposition them to a better location. Annotation settings are located down here at the bottom. Here I can change the annotation font, the text height, dimension precision, and choose whether or not I want to display units. Changes made here affect all dimensions and annotation text in the drawing. I can also double click a dimension to adjust its precision, tolerance, and other features. Now let's add a parts list. Simply click parts list at the top and then place it in the drawing. The info in the parts list is taken straight from the properties in the model. Now let's add balloons to indicate parts on the object. If I select balloons, I can click a part in any of the drawings and the balloon automatically corresponds with the item number in the parts list. To populate the title block, just double click anywhere in the title block, then type in your info. Adding annotations completes your drawing.